beautiful friends it's Amanda here and today we're gonna go through the holiday vaults from Colourpop we have two really big vaults that I want to go in depth for you today first is this super shock shadow vault this one's called feels like magic I'm gonna do swatches of all of them of course and I'm gonna try to give you as much info as I can we also have a palette vault this is the manifest this vault it has six new nine pan palettes inside. So for the past three days, I have been doing swatch comparisons. As my swatch arm can tell you, <laughs> I have a lot of swatch comparisons for these palettes. And I'm also gonna show you a tutorial using two of the palettes from the Manifest This Vault. Both of these products are currently available. I didn't even have my hands on both of these until after they had already launched. I got the Manifest This palette vault I think the day they launched maybe the day before and then I just received my super shock vault like two days ago so now that I finally have both of these I wanted to give you the best possible review video that I could Colourpop's having a site-wide sale right now as I am speaking as I am filming this so if the sale is still on by the time this video gets edited and uploaded then you can't use any coupon codes on anything on the site However, if the sale ends before this video gets made, then you will be able to use coupon codes on both of these vaults, as well as pretty much everything on the ColourPop site. I do have an affiliate code, it's just my first name, Amanda, and that will save you 10% on pretty much everything on the ColourPop site. As long as they don't have a sale going on, make sure you check your cart total because I wanna make sure you get the best possible deal for your dollar. Now, let's get to the fun part and take a close-up look at these products starting with the super shock vault here's a look at the just like magic vault this is a very very large box there's 25 super shock shadows in here and the packaging is really fun it's whimsical it's definitely a great giftable box as well I always think about that if something's easy to wrap. Maybe that's just me, but I guess you can always put it in a gift bag. But this would be a very giftable box. And like I always say, you can also purchase one of these vaults and split it up and make these super shocks into stocking stuffers or to augment other gifts. I have the idea in my brain of having a makeup party getting something like this, something like the palette vault, and then just getting together with all your makeup loving friends and splitting them up or maybe playing games and having the different shades as prizes. I don't know. Let me know if you're down for a makeup party. This vault is retail priced at 150, so 150 US dollars. Like I said, there is a sale currently going on as I'm filming this. So it is marked down, but I didn't want to put the sale price in the video in case the sale ends and then the price is wrong. So the full retail price is 150. You can definitely get it for less than that. Even if you're just using a code, you can take a couple bucks off. You see here that the shades are laid out in these different color groups. So a blue row, a green row, a purple row, you get it. And then within each one of those rows, we have different types of special super shocks. So we have three that are split pans. So sort of a half and half, but they're not mixed together like the tie dyes. They're definitely in two separate little half circle pans. There are four of the tie-dye super shocks. We have seen tie-dyes in the past, but I'm pretty sure that these are all new shades. I know that there are some re-released shades in the vault, but I think that all the tie-dyes are new. I'm not 100% positive on that. To be honest with you, there are so many super shocks, just shade names floating around in my head that I genuinely don't recall all of them. And then the other special shades we have are these little stamped super shocks. So there are two that are stamped with stars, two that have hearts, and the hearts disappear really quickly. So when I show you the hearts shades, this is just from one time swatching them and the hearts pretty much completely disappeared already. And then we have two with clouds and two with 
this little diamond shape. It's kind of hard to tell what it is even when they are perfectly formed. I wasn't 100% sure what this shape was, but just referencing from the packaging, it's like a little diamond or a little gem. And these all have special packaging, so they're not the typical white pots. They have a little special outer packaging with this pale pink, but overall it is the exact same shape and size. It definitely needs to be kept sealed tight to keep the bouncy Super Shock texture in there. If you are somebody who struggles with Super Shock shadows, I have a video for you. It's called Super Shock 101. It's all about how to use them, and I also go into how to revive them if they get dried out. So if yours do get dried out, you can save them. Just go check out that video. The Super Shock shadows in this vault are almost entirely all the ultra glitter finish. We do have four shades that are labeled as ultra metallic. And three of those four ultra metallics are in the orange group. So you're the prize, smiley face, trick me, and then the one that's not in the orange group, Liberty. Those are the ultra metallics. We do have a couple of shades that are labeled as super shock pigments. So these do have the eye safety warning, trippy, kelp me, and pick me. Those I would just recommend testing because they're likely to stain the skin because of those pigments. And some people do have a reaction to certain pigments, so it's always better safe than sorry to patch test shades like that. The last thing I want to mention is a few of these shades are re-promoted. The ones I recognize are Kelp Me, Tassel, Liberty, and Ice Dream. There might be another one or two in there that have been previously offered. Like I said, I can't remember all of them, but I know for a fact that those have been released before. So just keep that in mind if you already have those shades that may affect whether you want this vault or not. Now let's get into the Manifest This palette vault. We'll take a look at the packaging and then we'll also look at each palette individually as well. And I have a ton of comparisons for these. The Manifest This palette vault is full retail priced at 84 US dollars. It's in another very giftable box, very easy to gift wrap box. I definitely appreciate that. And we have the same style of this really fun, whimsical, trippy, colorful packaging. The actual palettes are in this sort of fold out display. So they're all tucked in there all nice and snuggly. I like a packaging like this that feels really secure, but this is all cardboard. So, you know, in theory, you could recycle this, which I also like. There are six palettes in here. At this moment, these are not offered individually, but I wouldn't be surprised if they do sell these palettes individually eventually. And I think that would be a good idea for them to do, and we've seen that in the past where vault exclusive palettes were eventually offered individually. I don't have any information as to whether that will happen or not, but as of right now, these palettes are only available in the Manifest This Palette Vault. I'm going to show you individual finger and brush swatches of each palette first, and then I have three or four palette comparisons for each one of these. These comparisons were quite the task to film, so I do hope they're helpful. I know, especially for shades like this one in this Island Vacay palette, we could go all day. I could probably have 30 or 40 good palette comparisons for this one because it is a very neutral palette. But at the end of the day, that's just not feasible. And I think it will stop being helpful at some point because the shades start to all blend together, even for me seeing them in person. So I do hope that, you know, three or four palette comparisons each will be enough to give you a sense for these palettes. I was actually surprised by some of these comparisons because I thought that they would be a much closer match, like an exact match, and it seems like some of these pinky shades in Island Vacay are setting it apart a little bit from a lot of the neutrals previously offered by ColourPop. 
This Not A Box Of Chocolates palette is one of my new favorite neutral palettes. I just really enjoy it. And I thought it was going to be more of a dead on match. But again, it's those pink shades that are just a little bit different, have a little bit of a twist for this Island Vacay palette. However, as usual, the hero of comparisons, the mega palettes, this Bare Necessities palette makes almost an exact match. This is really the same shades. There are a couple differences here and there, but once these are on the eye, these are going to look really exactly the same. So this is by far the best dupe that I have in my ColourPop collection. Now we're going to move on to the pink drink palette. A lot of these palettes have their new glitter formula. I haven't really received any information. I've seen people say that they're still not eye safe because they contain PET glitters. And I actually, I did just like a quick search and that's not necessarily true. PET glitters are approved for cosmetic use by EU standards. So I think it's the size of the particle that's really the difference. And I think that's, for me personally, that has always been my issue was that those glitter chunks were so big that they did pose a risk to the surface of the eye. And you still don't want to get anything in your eye, no matter what size the particle is. But I think that these are still pretty and glittery without being quite so imposing of glitter. So I do think this is probably a good compromise. They're no longer marked as not eye safe. I would still apply and remove them with caution. I think you should just do that anytime you're near your eyes. So I don't have a ton of information about that. I don't think it's necessarily accurate to say that they're still not eye safe. But I genuinely only have my own observations and Google searches to go off of. I've always been a big advocate of eye safety. And sometimes I've been really criticized for being an advocate for paying attention to these eye safety warnings. I really do just believe that it's better safe than sorry. My background in ophthalmology makes me extra concerned about those types of things and I don't think it's bad to be more concerned than less. So genuinely I don't really know what to make of this new glitter formula. I think it's an improvement personally but I don't know what to tell you as far as is this definitively safe or not. All I can say is use everything with caution. Take care of your eyes. Your eyes are more important than makeup and that's my little soapbox for the day. I just love your faces and I want you to be safe and happy and healthy and make good decisions and make good purchasing decisions. So that's why we're here. That's why the swatch arm is being sacrificed for all of these comparisons. And it was actually fun to hunt through some of my older palettes to look for good comparisons. A lot of the good comparisons for these are palettes that have been discontinued. So perhaps seeing these comparisons instead of thinking, oh, it's the same shades again. For some folks, it's going to be a chance to get those shades and to get those color combinations after having missed out on some of these other palettes, quite a few of my comparison palettes that I use in these videos were very limited and they were Ulta Beauty exclusive. So a lot of my international friends never had access to these. This is a great example. The Bird of Paradise palette maybe was briefly available on the ColourPop site, but in general, this was an Ulta sold palette. And you can see there's a lot of similarities, really just missing the yellows here, but the same sort of feeling, the same sort of vibe. And we're gonna see that a lot with this Sunny Days palette is Everybody gets close in these comparisons, but there's not really an exact dupe. A couple get really close. So if you have a few of these palettes, you can mix and match them together to create the same vibe. And I also encourage you to take two shades and mix them together to create the perfect shade. So like this gold on the end here for Daisy Does It, I mixed the yellow and the champagne color together 
to really get that same look as the Gold in the Sunny Days palette. It's not an exact match, but it's something to consider when you're trying to recreate these shades from your own collection. Don't discount the power of mixing and matching. Once again, Mega Palette comes through with the absolute best swatch comparison. Again, not exact, but definitely really, really similar vibes. If you have It's All Good, you pretty much have this color story. Now, this was one of the tougher palettes to come up with comparisons for. This New Money palette and the Sweet Vibes one, that's the blue and purple one, definitely challenged me to get creative with my dupes. And I will say that this one and the Sweet Vibes, the blue and purple palette, were the most inconsistent in terms of performance inside of a single palette. These pale kind of pastel -y shades and the really really bright neon called funs they just the swatches weren't that great the performance on the eye is better the darker shades and the shimmers are better but these two sadly because i think they're the most interesting color stories were the most hit or miss formula wise I think Just My Luck is really a no-brainer as far as comparisons go for green palettes. This has some similar shades. Um, it definitely has a more consistent formula. I noticed that when swatching it, it just overall, the performance seemed a lot more steady throughout. I also wanted to compare this High Tide palette. This was another limited, very Ulta-centric release. This one had a surprising amount of matches, but again, I think you can tell that the opacity is just a lot more impressive with the High Tide palette. And then I had to get creative for my final comparison. I combined the greens from Fade into Hue and the Mint to Be palette, and I think I got some pretty decent matches in here. Again, you can just tell the formula difference is pretty obvious even in these quick finger swipe swatches. But if you have Fade Into Hue and you have some of these other palettes, you definitely have these shades already. Despite the fact that these palettes are in and of themselves pretty unique in appearance, I think that I was still able to find a decent amount of dupes. So hopefully that helps to combat any FOMO you may have. This vault is pretty expensive, so I do want to give you some alternatives or maybe point out where you already own some of these shades. Sometimes it's easy to get drawn in by maybe two or three of the palettes in a vault, and then you end up repurchasing a lot of shades that you already have. I want to point out here, you will get to see this palette on my eyes later, and it does perform a lot better on the eyes than it does in these swatches, but it's hard to miss the fact that these palettes just aren't swatching the same as past palettes, and regardless, that does indicate a difference in the formula. Like, you can tell here, even the pastels, which are just notoriously difficult to swatch, difficult to make look pretty in a swatch, are performing a little bit better in some of these past palette releases. I was most excited to do this comparison, combining Lilac You A Lot and Blue Moon, and you these are very, very close. It's not exact. Some of the formulas are a little different, but these are very, very close. If you have Lilac You A Lot and Blue Moon, you already have these colors. I guarantee it. And frankly, with a couple of exceptions to the formula shade wise fade into hue really has these colors too some of the formulations are a little bit different the finishes i should say are a little bit different but the shades are there you can definitely create your own metallic textures with toppers so just keep an open mind when it comes to duping palettes this extra coin palette i think is a surprise favorite for me i've definitely been 
more interested by cooler tone and just like more true neutrals, not necessarily cool toned or warm toned, just really those in between true neutral shades. I think this palette is actually really cute, really useful. A lot of people are going to love this regardless of their personal style. And I think it's going to suit a lot of people. I noticed this palette has that matte black shade called Let's Do It. I know that is an existing shade. I don't know how many of these others are existing shade names. While I can remember a lot of the palette names, I can't always remember every shade inside. Sometimes they trick me by reusing shade names. For example, there was a super shock in the vault we just looked at named Pinky Promise, and they've had a pressed eyeshadow single shade named Pinky Promise, so sometimes they like to confuse me by recycling their names. We've got the usual suspects here for these cooler tone comparisons, Twist of Slate and Of Quartz. I felt like we're just a given. These are the go-to grey cool neutral palettes for me for ColourPop comparisons. And these were pretty close. I feel like, you know, overall similar looks coming out of these palettes. I also was really drawn to this Troublemaker palette, which I honestly, the more I use this palette, and even just the more I swatch it, the more I like it, I do think it's one of their better releases from this year. So it makes a lot of sense that I like the extra coin palette because I've really been drawn to this Troublemaker palette and they definitely have similar shades, similar vibes. I feel like every comparison video that I do, the takeaway is just to buy a couple of the mega palettes because you can pretty much exactly dupe most of the palette releases from Colourpop with a few of these mega palettes. The Stone Cold Fox comparison is shockingly close. So if you have Stone Cold Fox, you already have the extra coin shades. Now that you've seen everything up close, you've seen all the swatches, let's take a look at an eyeshadow tutorial for this look that I'm wearing today using two of these new palettes. And I'll wrap up all my thoughts on these vaults along the way. All in all, I think these are great holiday vaults. I don't think they're great for everyone. I don't think any release is going to be great for every single person in the world. That's just never how it's going to work. But I like that they keep doing these really colorful, really fun, joyous type of holiday releases. These vaults will make a great gift if there's somebody in your life who is a big makeup lover or maybe just getting into makeup. I love to gift makeup to my teenage nieces. They're really interested in experimenting. They don't have cash on hand to buy stuff for themselves because they're teenagers. And they're also so free in the way that they express themselves that all of these colors and sparkly things are really perfect for them. So if you have a young creative person in your life, this is a great way to encourage self-expression in a way that is ultimately incredibly safe because makeup just washes off. So it's not like handing them a can of paint and praying for your carpet, you know. I am a big fan of the idea of gifting these. I am a big fan of the idea of purchasing these vaults and splitting them up and giving them as smaller gifts or augmenting a larger gift with a couple of super shocks or a cute palette. You know, I talk all the time about having a makeup party. That could be a fun festive get together. I don't know. I'm just saying if you have one, invite me. And let's not forget the self-gifting, which I definitely think should be a thing. I buy myself gifts and you know what? If you do too, there's no shame in the self-gifting game. Everybody deserves the joy of a gift that they love. And if you have to get that gift for yourself, you go for it because you're awesome and you deserve it. And if you can afford it, then why not? I will say personally for me, I'm more excited by the Super Shock Vault than the Palette Vault. I think that both are great and I think that they make sense 
being released together. I just think that the Super Shocks for me, they're so exciting and it's like little candies. I don't know. That's my personal preference. But I do think that both of the vaults are really nice. Both are a good value for their dollar and I think both are going to be great gifts or like in my family we play little games and we have little prizes around the holidays so these would be cute little like bingo prizes or whatever it may be you know. We also have a Mario Kart tournament but there's a trophy for that. I've gotten off track but the point is I think both of these are nice. My personal preference is the Super Shock Vault but I think you're going to be happy with either one of these purchases as gifts for others or yourself. I always love when they do these colorful releases for holiday. It's just so joyful and so fun. That's really what I love to see for these holiday releases. Now's the time when I want to hear what you think about these new products. Have you picked them up already? Are any of these on your wish list? Are you going to be buying them and splitting them up and giving them to all your friends at a makeup party? And if so, can I be invited? <laughs> I always love to hear what you think about things too, so make sure you leave all your thoughts down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Do I like blue now? Look, my nail polish perfectly matches. It's like this purple to blue shift and it is, it couldn't be more perfect. And I'm wearing my blue tie dye shirt. It's just, oh, and look, these little purple and blue indigo moon earrings. These are my Etsy shop. I have a really, really good matching thing going on right now. I love these earrings. I'll make more if these sell out because I really, really like these. Obviously, I made myself a pair. I have to test the promo. <laughs> All right, Jack, you got to tell me what your favorite is. Here, I'll open it up. Your favorite one or your favorite like top three. Okay. I don't get to see my favorite. You can already see your favorite. You spotted it right away, huh? Yeah, I did. What is it? So, it is this one. Okay. This blue one with the star. Mm -hmm. So that is Azurite. That's Jack's favorite. Mm -hmm. My top other two are... Mm -hmm. Some of the choices. Today. Yeah, there are a lot of good choices. This one? Ooh, I love that one. I know without looking that this is Liberty. Because this is a shade that they've had before. Liberty. You're kind of picking colors that I have in my eyeshadow because I kind of have colors like this that I'm wearing today. Hmm. Twins! What's your other one, your third favorite? Uh, boy, boy, boy. That one. This one? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. I love this choice. Lucky number. Good choices. This one. Let me know your thoughts along the way. This one. That one's a little bit like too skin killery. Okay. And I will take a pass on that. Kind of the same for the second one. Too neutral? You're not a neutral guy? That, that's decent. That, that one's decent. Okay. How about that one? one is actually really colorful. Yeah, you like this one? Okay. And pink. Mm, well, it's on to a little bit too plain. That one is my favorite. This one's your favorite? Yes. This one's my favorite too. And then green's your second favorite? Yes. All right. Now the people know. This one's called Sweet Vibes, and this one is called New Money. <laughs> so now we know Jack's favorites. Not a neutrals guy. Thanks, bud. Uh, no, 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 Say you later, people! Okay, I'm gonna finish filming my video real quick, and then we'll go uh, play Minecraft, okay? By the time I get caught up with them, they release something new. I swear, I think their collection for this week literally got delivered while I was filming this because the doorbell went off, I saw packages getting delivered from my little doorbell camera, so it's probably out there right now. Like, will I ever truly be caught up with ColourPop? Stay tuned. We'll see. We'll find out on the next installment of Catching Up with ColourPop. Uh, enough being weird for me. Nah, that's a lie. It's never enough. Okay, thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for everybody who uses my code or uses my links. I really appreciate it. That is, that's cool. And everybody who watches to the end and everybody who just is a nice friend here. It means a lot, you know? Not everybody's like that and you chose to be that way. That's awesome. You're awesome and I love your face. Okay, bye.